Hi folks, Max from RootNexus5.com. Today I'm going to go ahead and show you Android 5.0 Lollipop. This is the Android uh, Lollipop ROM for your Nexus 5. Uh, if you have a Nexus 5, you can go ahead and install this with Clock Mile Recovery or Torp Recovery. Um, also, you can get root. Make sure you install Super User Zip File after installing the ROM. And the one thing to note, uh, this does have root, and some of the rooted apps does work, but um, you know, Titanium Backup app doesn't work correctly. One of the reasons is that uh, Android L has been hardened uh, with security. So um, you will have to wait until the app developers uh, change it to make it compatible with Android L. But a lot of rooted apps are currently not working. But you can still root your uh, Nexus 5 with uh, Android Lollipop. Um, so this is the Android Lollipop. One of the first things you should check um, to see if you have Android 5.0, if it's official or not, go to About Phone and Settings and go to Android version. You should see 5.0. If you don't see that, um, it's probably not uh, Lollipop. But if you go ahead and uh, press on it a bunch of times, you'll get this nice Lollipop Easter egg. And also, if you go ahead and press on it, you'll get this nice little uh, Android, uh, Android Flappy Bird game or and Flappy Android game. I have actually this similar game on my um, on my Moto 360, and let's see what level I can get to here. Well, I'm doing pretty good. That's actually my record. I'm looking pretty good. So you can spend hours, you know, just playing this game uh, once you install it. So really cool stuff. Um, I wonder where the Google engineers got the time to do it, but pretty cool uh, Easter egg there. And you can see the Material L uh, has been you know, designed very, very well. And let me go ahead and show you some of the stuff you can do in settings. Uh, some of the changes that you can do. If you go to sound and notifications, um, you do have this new option called interruptions. Uh, when calls and notifications are all, always interrupt, um, you can change this so, you know, you can have it only when, when you have important calls coming or important messages. I'm not sure about the details of this, but um, definitely that feature is being developed as we speak. And also, you can even um, go to app notifications. And for example, if you want only the priority notifications to show up, you can go ahead and set that also, or even block all notifications. So that's sort of new there. And let me go ahead and show you some of the other cool stuff that I found uh, with the battery. Uh, with the battery, if you don't use your phone just on standby, uh, before you probably only get like maybe two days at most uh, but with Android L if you have like 100% battery life uh, I found that you can actually almost get like a week of battery life sort of similar to like the Galaxy Note uh, 4 and the S5 ultra power saving mode um, that with that uh, ultra power saving mode on my Note 4 and S5 I can get almost up to a month on standby which is ridiculous and great for camping you know when you're not using your phone uh, your phone is saving battery so that has been sort of implemented into the Android uh, 5.0 and uh, it's not exactly like the ultra power saving mode uh, but it does save you quite a bit of battery life and uh, you'll be able to go longer um, obviously and also there is a power saving mode if you go to battery saver saver here uh, there's an extra option to save battery, uh, which will turn off miscellaneous stuff you don't need while you don't use them. Um, other than that, there is also multi-user. This, I think, was in Jelly Bean or was it ICS uh, that Google had experimented with and they took it away with, I believe, with KitKat. Uh, and uh, they're bringing it back now. You can go ahead and add your new user. Uh, if you have kids that play games, um, you know, while you go out shopping or something and you give them your phone and then they accidentally delete all the important emails or maybe even delete uh, your YouTube videos. You don't want that happening so you can go ahead and add a new user. Uh, it will be a completely different login and you'll be able to install all of your kids games and whenever you give your phone to your kid, um, just sign out of your account, um, sign into their account and they'll have all their games separated from all your important stuff. Um, or you know, buy them a phone like I did with Peony. She has her own Galaxy S4 uh, rooted with CM11 ROM. Uh, anyway, here we go. Language and input. Um, you'll be able to get a ton of languages, as you can see here. Google pretty much supports all the languages in the world out of the box, except for Kurdish, I think. And I don't know, there may be more. Um, the keyboard. Yes, the keyboard is probably the most awesome part of Android 5.0. So this is the light uh, material thing. 
material theme uh, keyboard here. Um, you can also switch it to dark if you want to. Oops, I spelled it wrong. Um, if you go into Google Keyboard here, go to Appearance and Layouts, uh, you'll be able to change that to the material dark, which we saw uh, with the Android L Preview a couple of weeks back. And let's see if I can do it right there. And looking very good. Uh, but I really like the material light, and uh, I should have another video on how to install on any Android smartphone. And gesture typing, of course, you can do uh, swipe typing. Hello. Oops, gecko. All right, um, so very nice stuff. And if you go into Google Settings, um, now you'll be able to customize all the notifications, everything you do a little bit better. Connected apps, this is where you can disconnect apps. Uh, if you play games, you can go ahead and set your multiplayer notifications uh, or turn them off. Uh, mute games, location. Um, you can see which apps actually use uh, location like you can see I use my camera just now and uh, it actually has high battery usage um, so that's good to know and also there's an extra thing for Google Fit um, so that's for future Google Fit stuff uh, search and now that's the same thing as Google Now stuff uh, ads um, you can opt out of ads if you want to Android device manager is now completely built into Android 5.0. Um, so if you ever lose it, you can go ahead and install Android device manager app from the Play Store. Uh, erase all your stuff. You know, it's all built in, very nice stuff. Uh, drive enable apps settings, account history. Um, so those are the Google settings. Going back to settings, um, there are several more stuff with printing stuff. It's, I guess it's a little bit easier now. Uh, if you go into accessibility, um, there's stuff like power button and call, that's sort of new. Um, other than that, uh, it is very, very nice. I mean, you just gotta try it to believe it. Um, it is very nice. And uh, I hope the SF Giants win. Uh, but uh, definitely check it out for this week's round of the week for the Nexus 5. And even if you don't have Nexus 5, this is what's coming. Uh, and it should be coming to all the different phones. And uh, if you have a phone that you can install AOSP ROMs, uh, you're going to be one of the first to receive it. And I know some of you will ask me, so I will tell you right now, if you have like a Note 3, Note 2, you know, S5, um, uh, let me see, like HTC One, uh, M7, M8, I think uh, Nexus 6 will come out, I think in a week and a half or whatever. And, uh, after when that comes out, the official firmware for Android 5.0 will be out, and it should take another week uh, at most um, to have it on most of the other devices ported. So long as you have a unlock bootloader and install uh, AOSP ROMs. And uh, that's about it. I will see you guys soon. As always, don't forget to hit that like button, and as always, stay on Android.